creative viewers, hello and welcome to Golden Age Technology on Supreme Master Television. This week, in part one of a two-part program, we travel to the beautiful coastal city of Brighton, England, to visit an eco-wise building called Earthship Brighton. An Earthship is a passive solar home made of natural and recycled materials. A proud project of the UK-based non-profit organisation, the Low Carbon Trust, the Earthship Brighton was constructed in 2005 to serve as a model of how we can live in a less carbon-intensive manner and thus help reduce climate change. Situated in the historic and picturesque setting of Stanmer Park on the outskirts of Brighton City, the praiseworthy structure has garnered a variety of sustainability awards. As a community centre, it attracts many visitors throughout the year, and a variety of informative workshops on eco-friendly living and building are held on site. Hi, I'm Misha, Misha Hewitt, and I'm the project manager for the Earthship Brighton project. I've been involved in this project for years. Um, I was very involved in the building of it, and since then I also wrote a book about it. We run lots of educational activities up here, so for example we do days with schools, so lots of school kids come up and they learn about the building and all the renewable technologies in it and things like that, rainwater harvesting, and they do lots of other workshops and other things that we do is we run training courses and they're more directed at adults that might want to learn to build their own house. The very first Earthship was built in New Mexico, USA by visionary green architect Michael Reynolds in the late 1980s. Today, there are thousands of Earthships that have been constructed across the globe, including Earthship Brighton, the first Earthship in all of England. Well, the Earthship project began because a number of years ago, um, Mike Reynolds happened to be in, in Belgium and Mike Reynolds was the guy that invented the Earthship out in America, out in the deserts of New Mexico. And somebody invited him to Brighton to give a lecture and he gave a public lecture and around about 150 people went along and they were kind of really inspired, really sort of fired up and, and wanted to build a project. So they sort of all came together and formed an organisation. To coexist harmoniously with the surrounding environment, Earthships are built using passive energy design principles or the use of nature to heat and cool a structure. Earthships also use advanced green technology for power and natural and recycled construction materials for maximum sustainability. Most of the concepts in the Earthship come from the fact that the building is self-sufficient and it's completely isolated and off-grid and autonomous. And because of that, the idea is really that um, it generates all of its power for itself, whether that be for keeping the building or the people warm, whether it be providing electricity for anything that you're doing in the building or the hot water that you need, and harvesting all the water from the skies and using plants on site to treat its wastewater, such as we have here. This lovely grey water planter that's, that's treating our grey water. So we've basically got a whole different range of technologies. Passive energy design techniques are simple, easy to incorporate and are in tune with our earth and the seasons. Probably the most interesting passive technique that's being applied here is just the simple combination of having a building with lots of south facing glazing. Um, we're just orientated directly south here because we're in the northern hemisphere so the sun rises in the east, sets in the west but it's always coming from the south so we're maximising the opportunity for the sun's energy to actually enter the building and once we the sun's energy is in, we have lots and lots of exposed areas that are very solid and very dense. And that means that just like on a summer's day when you walk down and you put your hand on a curb, you can feel the heat emanating from that. We've got the sun's energy just coming down and being absorbed by the building so that when the temperature drops, that heat just flows back out and, and warms the space. We asked Mr. Hewitt to elaborate on how Earthship Brighton meets its energy needs. We've got four renewable technologies here and we've got two for electricity and two for hot water. And the two for electricity are the wind turbine, which is spinning just outside over there, 
And then just on top of the building, we've got a big bank of solar electric panels as well. So those two things from the wind and the sun are providing us with our electricity. And that's for our mains that we can plug all of our appliances and, and whatever into, and also for our lights. And then for hot water, we've got a couple of other technologies. We've got some solar thermal panels, so they do the same as the solar electric, except they produce hot water rather than electricity. They take the sun's energy and convert it into hot water. And then we've got a biomass stove as well. We will be right back after the following brief message with more about the amazing Earthship Brighton. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology as we return to the city of Brighton, England for our visit to Earthship Brighton. Like all Earthships throughout the world, the Earthship Brighton is a low carbon and energy conserving structure. By adopting passive energy techniques and smart green technologies, the building is energy independent and exists in harmony with its natural surroundings. Project manager Misha Hewitt now discusses the use of recycled materials in Earthship Brighton's construction, particularly used car tyres. There are lots of different materials used in the building. Um, some of them are conventional building materials that we just went down to the builders, merchants and bought, um, such as the 2x4 and the timber that you can see here. Some of the other materials are quite unusual and one of the more unusual ma building materials are car tyres and all of the back wall around the sides of the building are made from car tyres and that's an interesting material. I mean, in the UK, we throw away probably about 48, maybe 50 million of them a year. So they're a big, big problem that, that we need to do something with. And here, the technique's quite simple. We just fill them with earth. And we just keep packing that earth down until we end up with quite a dense, solid brick. And we just basically build from those. But we try to use lots of different reclaimed materials. For example, the floor down here is um, lots of granite and marble offcuts that we got from, um, from a stonemasons in town that was throwing them away. And they they throw these away in the course of what they do all the time. So it's just quite good to get them to send stuff down here and, and we made a floor from it. So the fact that we tried to work with lots of different materials, natural, local and recycled materials from our area. The proverb, waste not, want not, epitomizes the Earthship approach to construction. Mr. Hewitt hopes that the entire building industry embraces this philosophy to help improve the environment. Reusing materials is great. I mean, reusing stuff is as good as it can be because you're investing virtually no energy into the process other than perhaps just moving it from where it was to, to where you're going to build with it. And, and that's ideally what we want. I mean, construction waste is a big problem in the UK. It accounts for something like 50% of all of the waste that we send to landfill. So if we can reuse stuff as opposed to just dumping it, then that, that's a big, big bonus, really. And that, that's a good thing. And hopefully, as we progress in, into the 21st century, the loop will be closed more and more so that materials that aren't used on a job will be stored somewhere or moved directly to another site where they can be used. I mean, we live at a time where there is incredible opportunities for social networking. If we could somehow link up builders so that John over there has got a surplus of insulation, can go and give it to Pete to stick in his roof, and then suddenly we're closing the loop and we're not wasting stuff as much. Can you tell us about the courses here um, and the students that come and their reactions to the courses? We run a wide range of courses, but the main courses that we run is the self-building and earthship course, and it's a three-day course, and people do different practical workshops, and it's a combination of different things, really. People actually get physical hands-on sort of practice, learning, um, learning the tools in, in a very active way, which is good for, for helping them to remember it. We get them to vision their own projects, so we get them to work in groups and actually design their own buildings, and, uh, and that's good because it really reinforces what they learn. And what's happening with the future of the Earthship? What are the hopes for the future? The purpose of the project was for us to bring a community of people together and then enable lots of people and, and provide environmental education. And, it's an amazing place, an area of outstanding natural beauty. It's a fantastic place to come and learn about different things to do with the environment. And you can hear the birds singing and you can hear lots of other things and just see nature and just understand it and be part of it, really. So it's good that people can come here and kind of learn through those things and hopefully go away and change their own lives and, and hope for a better environmental outcome.
The Earthship Brighton and other Earthships serve as models of excellence in the realm of green architecture and are helping pave the path to a future where all buildings are built with deep respect for nature. We sincerely thank Misha Hewitt for his time and introducing us to Earthship Brighton. Please join us again next week on Golden Age Technology for part two of our program as we take a tour around the building and learn more about this remarkable eco-project. For more details on Earthship Brighton, please visit www.lowcarbon.co.uk. Information about the Earthship movement is also available at www.earthship.com. Esteemed viewers, we appreciate your company today on Golden Age Technology. Vegetarianism, the noble way of living, is next, after noteworthy news. May we all strive to live in greater regard for our living planetary home. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash G-A-T.